Shao Kahn created us as well. You cannot kill what is already dead. Magic binds me still. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a closer look at Cyrex Triborg and we will give him a proper review and see what this character is all about. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Cyrex Triborg is part of the martial artist class and his passive is called Assimilation Protocol version 1.0. All Tribar characters on your team gain increased critical hit chance for a special attack 1 and everyone on your team gains plus 50% critical damage. Cyrus's gear piece is the Cyber Armor and it gives you 35% self heal at the end of special attack 3 or X-Ray slash Fatal Blow Attack, 50% resistance to all debuffs, which is for Triborg characters only, and 25% basic attack damage boost. In terms of his feats of strength, he will have to win 500 matches in battle mode to unlock his rune. For his victory stances, he will have to win 750 matches in Faction Wars, for his taunts, he has to knock out 500 sub zero enemies. For his icons, he has to perform 2000 special one attacks. For his backgrounds, he has to perform 3000 combo enders. And for his title, he has to perform 250 x ray slash fatal blow attacks. And now we are going to take a look at the victory stances one by one, and we will start with victory. Next up we have Warming Up. The third would be MK3 Victory. And exclusive for Cyrex Triborg only is Exacnet. And on your victory screen, it will look like this. Now I'm going to scroll through all of his backgrounds. Next up we have the icons. And finally the titles. Cyrex Triborg has two kinds of combo enders. The first one knocks the opponent down to the ground. And for a 
second combo ender he dives into a kick and then goes all the way up to the head. This attack doesn't knock the opponent down and is therefore ideal for follow up attacks and tag out motions. His special one is called Advanced Net and it has no special buffs or debuffs tied to it. It just deals simple damage, but it deals actually a lot of damage due to Cyrex's passive. Also noteworthy is that this special attack is not capable of KOing your opponent, so in any case you will have to follow up at least with another basic attack. His special attack too is called the Bussa and that's basically his most famous attack. This special 2 attack has a bleed DOT tied to it and it is also capable of KOing your opponent. His X-Ray is called the Cyber Initiative and this one is of course identical to all Triborg variations we have in the game, which means that Sub-Zero, Smoke and Sector also perform the exact same X-Ray as Cyrex does. As the buff they gave him the weaken effect, but I don't think that is very useful, especially because the X-Ray deals a lot of damage and in most cases KOs the opponent anyway. In terms of passive there is not that much that I could show you guys, it is basically just that the opponents take more damage and you see more red numbers than usual. What can I say about Cyrex Triborg? Well, to be absolutely honest with you guys, Cyrex Triborg is my least favorite Cyber Ninja that we have from the Triborg constellation of the four that are actually in the game. And with Cyrex it was always the thing that I never hated him or anything, he's just like all the other Triborgs I find way more useful. I like Sector more because he has the fire DOT tied to his special one. I like Smoke better because of the power drain and of course Sub-Zero has the frostbite effect, which is arguably the most annoying and dangerous effect that we could have especially on a Triborg team, and of course then all Triborgs sharing this deadly passive. Cyrex may add a lot of critical damage and critical hit chance to your team, but on the other hand he himself is quite slow, especially when it comes to chaining his combo enders. The, and the special 1 damage is absolutely amazing, I totally admit that. But uh, on the other hand I kind of see it like a stun effect, and unfortunately it doesn't last long enough, for example, to tag out and come up with follow-up attacks by other characters. So most of the time when I play Triborg teams and I have Cyrox in my team, he will definitely be the opener, so I, ca I can apply Blaze's Life Force and maybe use the Devastator on my opponents, or maybe even give him the Ice Bomb. But as soon as the initial started, I will just tag immediately to my other Triborgs. So that's my experience with Cyrex. But now let's get into the pros and cons again, as we always do when we do character reviews. And my first pro would be that he's a good supporter. He gives his teammates that nice critical hit extra which causes then of course more damage in the long run and I can tie this one directly to my second pro which is of course the high damage special one. If these deadly special ones connect then he can literally obliterate entire teams but therefore it really has to connect and unfortunately it is very easy to block it. 
As far as the third pro goes, I would say I liked that he causes bleed on his special too, even though I'm aware that Triborg teams mainly should focus on their special one, but in case you wanna go the extra mile with Cyrex, a bleed DOT is always a welcome effect. So now it's time to get into the cons and my first con is of course that already mentioned basic chaining. Unfortunately Cyrex is so slow that he really has problems from just executing one combo ender and even getting into the next one in many cases. And with Cyrex it always feels like he executes a combo ender and the opponent then goes, opens the fridge, gets himself a nice cool drink drinks that and then starts attacking and he will still be ahead of Cyrex. Of course this is now a little bit exaggerated, but he really suffers against faster characters in general, which would be my second con. In a way it really feels like he really has to play with Triborg Sub-Zero, so that Sub-Zero can apply Frostbite and therefore slowing down other characters, so that Cyrex has a chance to get in between with his attacks. My third negative, and I already mentioned that as well, is the duration of the advanced net. It would be so nice if he could throw that net and then we could tag out and then start other combos with other characters. But unfortunately that net is always already broken up as soon as you tag out and get ready for another attack. Well then it's time to get into the final rating and I would give Cyrax Triborg a 6 out of 10. He's definitely okay and if you are a fan of Cyrex then you will have a lot of fun with this character. It's just for me personally, I always prefer any other Triborg and that really makes him more one of the characters that sits on the shelf and collects a little bit of dust before he's played again. But yeah, I would say that was Cyrex Triborg in a nutshell for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this little review. Cyrex's challenge is just over or about to be over very soon, within one day or so I think is left on the timer right now. So unlock your Cyrex if you haven't yet, because that's a free opportunity and will cost no souls. I have already brought you guys the challenge video for Cyrex Triborg, and just in case you missed it I will leave a link at the end of this video, so you can have a look at how that went down. But other than that, there's nothing left for me to say but stay safe. Stay healthy, thank you once again for tuning in, and I will see you guys very soon. Casey, over and out for today. Thank you for watching Earth Realm. If you enjoyed the slaughter and the bloodshed, you can support the channel by clicking on the like button. You can also click on one of the two videos presented by Baraka here. Also make sure that you are subscribed and click the bell notification icon to be notified upon new uploads. You all know the drill, wound not kill, have a good one, and see you next time. <laughs>